In this video, we're going to connect an old MCU Wi-Fi module to a LDR or light dependent resistor. We will use the A0 pin here which indicates an analog input because the, AD, the LDR has a changing resistance depending on the light that hits through this surface. The next step here is to know what is the resistance if there is light and if there's no light. So we will measure that using a multimeter. If there is light, it seems that the measurement is around 1.3 kilo ohms. So let's net, let's see if it's dark. I'm now covering it, so it goes around 13 kilo ohms. I'm just covering it with my hands, with my finger. I mean, so 1.3 kilo ohms. 12 kilo ohms. Now let's try to make it a bit more dark like i will pinch it like that then let's see let's see what would be the what would be the resistance okay i'm pitching it it's still 12 so yeah it seems 12 should be good value it goes 15 okay so it means that if there's light, it's 1.3 ohms, and if there's no light, a bit uh, above 10 ohms, uh, 10 kilo ohms, but that could be higher. For ESP8266, the maximum voltage that we can go to its analog input is 1 volt. That is the voltage reference inside this chip. But with this board, the Node MCU version 3, it's version 3 it has this voltage divider here and upon checking i don't know if you see it it's 224 and that's 224 and 104 so that means this is 220 220000 kilo ohms and then the the, the other one is 100 thousand kilo ohms if you will do voltage divider calculator there it means that we could roughly put 3.2 3.3 depending on the tolerance of this resistor here in this pin of the uh, node mcu board so it's safe if we if we reach that up to that 3.3 which is the same to the voltage supply of this wi-fi chip the next step is to choose this resistor that you will configure so that uh, we can have a voltage divider here. So this will be the 3.3 volts. So since this can be around 1.3 kilo ohms up to uh, 12 kilo ohms on based on our measurement earlier, I selected this resistor to be 2 kilo ohms. So it means that if there is light, this, there is light here. This should be around, well, somehow half of that, half of that value. So one point, yeah, one one point six or something, yeah, uh, one point six volts. And if it if it goes higher to twelve kilo ohms when it's dark, this would go to a higher voltage as well, probably two point something. No, I'm not sure. We need to use a calculator for that. So from one point six volts, it will become two point something volt so this circuit we will we need to solder it here so we can have that light sensor project that we want to to do the idea now here is i will solder this on the 3.3 volts and this one on the analog uh, input which is on our paper here a0 would be this this one this should be a0 pin of the node mcu so we will solder this part this part here we will solder it there on a0 and then this one to the 3.3 volts so let's solder this thing here a0 and then 3.3 volts Okay. 
then this one here okay you need to be you need to be careful here because this is a this is an open I mean this is a conductive uh, wire here or the lead of the resistor so you avoid to you can put some tape there or something to avoid uh, possible short but let's proceed on connecting our LDR so the light dependent resistor will be here so it should be on the ground and on the A0 pin so let's do the soldering here as you see here I'm now done soldering the light dependent resistor so instead of instead of soldering this lead here oops uh, the focus this one instead of soldering on that ground pin I solder it on this pad because it's easier and there will be it will not touch or it will not cross this part because that pad and the ground pad there is the same this is the ground this is ground so yeah we can still we you still achieve this goal here of connectivity so with this with this circuit we should now be able to proceed on having our source code so this is our source code for the node MCU with LDR so there are a few lines here we need to set the serial or the UART with this baud rate and then we need to get the values using analog lead on the analog input pin then we just have to print it uh, after you upload this using this button the value should now be on the serial monitor but you have to ensure that you have the right setting here the node MCU and then the COM port so let's now try to check the serial monitor what are the values so as you see we are getting 578 that's something like that as values the LDR now the LDR, now, the LDR is currently exposed to light and then if I put some darkness there it will become 900 to 1000 which is a reasonable value based on the voltage divider that we set which is 2k and 1.3k so now that now you see that we have a working a working system there um, the next video will be about sending this data to, a, to an IoT platform on the cloud. I will put a, a link down below on that for that video. And again, if you find this video interesting, please hit the subscribe button. And thank you.